Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. I've got Greg, our builder, and Greg, and Debbie, our car owners, and Greg, tell us what you brought here today, and it's its debut. Yes. We're at the Arizona Biltmore at the Arizona Concourse. What did you bring today? We brought a 1957 Arnott Climax. The car was built for Le Mans in 1957. Yes. By the Arnott family. Daphne Arnott and her family were very famous for building superchargers in the 30s, 40s, 50s. And they decided to go racing. So yeah. they had quite a well developed program for 500cc Formula 3 cars, late 40s, early 50s. And they did so well with that, they thought they'd take on the big boys and go to Le Mans. So Stay right there. I want to grab the camera to hear more of what you're saying. So, so they decided to, to go to Le Mans, and, and this is uh, this is your builder for the car yep, for the Perry. restoration. So tell me, tell me uh, uh, when they did this. I mean, what, how did they do in Le Mans? They actually did well practice-wise. Yeah. But uh, sixth hour, it broke a valve spring, dropped the valve, and they were out. And they were out. Yeah. They were out. And you've had a couple of cars. So uh, how do you like this one on the the scale? How did this one become your car? Well, it became my car. I was looking for something, uh, four cylinders, small displacement. Yeah. A uh, little unusual. Um, I like things that are a little unusual. Good history and nicely original. And this car fell right into that bucket. But that was 20 years ago. 20 years ago. And it's been sitting in my garage for 16, 17 years. Hasn't been doing anything but waiting for me to <laughs> attend to it. And uh, I finally started that restoration several years ago and didn't get very well or very far with it until Greg Perry took over. and. Finished it, Greg. I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on you when we walk around the car. Debbie, what do you think of all this car stuff? What are your thoughts? Well, uh, it's grown on me. <laughs> <laughs> In a good way. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's go right to the featured attraction. Okay. Come on back, and look at this. Look at how low to the ground that is. My goodness. I mean, this is this got to have unbelievable tracking power. Well, that's a very interesting comment because this car was built with a Coventry Climax engine, and everybody in that class had a very successful Coventry Climax engine. And so the Arnots thought they would then take on the class and be successful with suspension as well as aerodynamics. Yeah. So they built a very enveloping aerodynamic. Come right with me. Tell me that while we're looking at the car. Come on back with me. Okay. So they built a very aerodynamic, enveloping, aer uh, gullwing body uh, car. Come on back with me so I can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. I'm going to start over. No, you're doing great. And the suspension is very, very unique. Let's it's, take a look. Okay. The suspension is pivoted in the midline. Wow. And the shock and the spring for the right side is on the left side. And it's done this way front and back both. So it's independently sprung front and rear, four corners. So when the car goes into a corner and the weight transfers to the outside of the corner, this suspension system then plants the inside wheels down into the road rather than allowing them to lift. And it's, uh, the engine's well behind the front wheels. It's set way back for so balance. Exactly. But a very, very original car. It was raced at Le Mans 57 and really just got tucked away after that. <coughs> And this is uh, how is this its this is its debut of its build. So it's, like I said, it's, it was in my garage for 16, 17 years, so <laughs> it hasn't been anywhere. No one's seen it. It's kind of fallen off the. Come, come on, let's take a look over here. This is where the gas goes in. I'm assuming. Gas goes in here. All right. We've got total race car rear end to it as well, like so. What a unique little ride. Let's open this, the hood again on this side. And, and Greg, the builder, tell me a little bit about uh, some of the challenges of putting a car together like this. Well, when I got the car, it was uh, pretty much uh, in pieces, in boxes. Uh, had a lot of original photos, so that's what really helped me uh, figure out what went where and how it should have gone. And, yeah. Uh, you know, made our own wiring harness and, and sorted all that. Piece of cake, out. huh? Oh, yeah. Piece of cake. <laughs> but I found a lot of the parts were... Uh, off the same period like an MGTD, yeah. brakes and that kind of stuff. So that helped me. I do a lot of British car stuff, so I, you know, understand, you know, what we're looking at. And, 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 you, and this is Godiva chocolates, right? The what? The Godiva chocolates? Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> you have your chocolates with your car. Let's open up the, uh, look at how this opens. 
like so. And uh, Greg, would you mind uh, just starting it for a moment? I mean, this is total race car. Can we can we start it for? Let, let me actually set the stage if we're going to start it. First of all, I'd love to see you hop in there. Go ahead. How are you going to fit in this? You're a pretty good sized guy. Actually, it's not bad. That's, okay. That's one of the big challenges. That was pretty good. Yep. That was a little gymnastics. Let's. Uh, can we? Can Can Greg Builder open the hood, and then we'll we'll get the sound of it because we're not going to start it for too long because it'll catch it catch a lot of people's attention. Let's let her. Let's let her fly. Fuel pumps filling the carburetors. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, that'll catch a few people's attention. That's awesome. That, here. that is awesome. <laughs> all right, come on out. Let's look at this thing all with its doors open. Watch your head there. That was well done getting out of that, by the way. That's low. Deborah, come on back. Let's all jump in the picture. Jump back, Greg's. Get alongside Deborah. Deborah, get in the middle there. We'll. <laughs> yeah, one big happy family. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for being on my car story. I look forward to uh, showing you the video. Really a fun, fun car and a unique car. Thank what you. a pleasure. Cool. Thank you. Pleasure.